Okay, y'all. So, getting straight into it. You'll be glad. Again. One more time. Y'all heard my. So, getting straight into it. Y'all heard my. Okay. One more time. Y'all heard my. So, why my neighbor knocking on the door and go, it's thundering, y'all. First and foremost, it's thundering. It have not started raining yet. And you can tell by the way she was out there looking, like she was scared of the thunder that would, that the thunder had scared her. Now, common sense will tell you if the thunder scare you, why would you ask me to take you somewhere in the thunder? And I don't drive in the rain or thunder. I don't play when it comes to thunder. I get I get to my house and I get somewhere and sit down and let God do his work. And then also she was like, I'll give you five dollars to take me to Family Dollar. Ma'am, my car is almost kissing and flirting with the E line. If I back up out the parking lot, that's about as fat as far as we going. And then my thing is why you can't get your so called husband to do it? Your sometime your husband. That's a part I would say a husband should want to do want to do whatever he can do for his wife. Hell, he should be the one to go over there and be like, okay, if you got something at Family Dollar, you gotta go over there. I'll go over there and get it for you. Or come on, we'll go since I'm already going out or whatever have you. But now this man ain't never at home with his wife because God knows who else he with or wherever else he at. They always say, oh, he's still working. He at work. Okay. You not with him 24-7. You not a fly on the wall. You don't know where this man be. He could tell you one thing and be doing something else. If that man willing to come outside and talk to random women or talk to women in the neighborhood or talk to random women on the phone, God knows what that man doing behind your back. If he wouldn't be that bold and do that in your face. But my thing is, I don't have enough gas to back out the parking lot and start to Family Dollar. Second of all, right about now, where my gas ain't sitting at, five dollars is not gonna help it. It's too close to the empty line. So, most people that drive would know if your car really that close to the empty line, you're not gonna make it that far without having to push it. Or if you do, you ain't gonna be able to uh, turn the air conditioner nothing on. And then my thing is, I wasn't going to do it anyway because it's thundering. Y'all, it's like fence the rain type of thunder. The thunder is getting started first. And then the rain is going to come to think of it. When I went outside to go see Ace, it did was a dirty cloud in the sky. But thank God I made it back in the house from doing what I had to do today. Before it started thundering. Like I told her, I said, I don't drive nowhere in the thunder or the rain. Everybody that knows me know I don't drive in the rain or the thunder. Not doing that. Walking out, getting my keys, putting on some clothes, walking out the house just to take you up the street and right back. And then I, what am I supposed to do? Get stuck when I get there? Then I got to get out the car and walk in the thunder to the gas station. We'll find something to put the gas in, walk to the gas station, get the gas, and try to open my car gas thing. Pry it open to pull the gas in there. Because of the way it's made. I'm not doing that. Um, I would like, to see some licensing like I am not doing that. I don't I don't drive in rain, thunder, hail, sleet or snow, dust storms, dirt storms, sand storms, tornado storms, mudslides. I don't drive in none of nobody's natural disasters. Definitely a flood. What the hell? And then she looked like she was kind of mad or frustrated or whatever have you. Well, like my grandma would say, you scratch your ass and get glad. You should scratch your ass and get glad. She'll be all right. That's exactly my grandma's words. Anytime somebody get mad because you, they ask you to do something, you don't want to do it. Because you're not obligated to do anything for anybody. If you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. So, my answer is no. I'm not doing it. I'm not coming out of my house. Even even if it was just hot. It's too hot for me to be getting in the, uh, coming out the house after I just took a shower. Going back outside in the heat. Just to go to the corner store or to Family Dollar down the street and around the corner for five dollars. And my whole thing is, why you can't call one of your children, your grandchildren, your daughters, or somebody? I mean, you that grandma, you should be able to depend on one of your children, one or all of your children, or at least a handful of your grandkids. I mean, if 
they love you like you love them and they come to check on you as much as possible, you should be able to ask them. Or whoever bring you some, why they can't bring it to your door? Why they can't bring it to the front gate and park up there and walk in? They can park by the office and walk in from that gate and hand it to you over the patio. I mean, I just don't personally understand it, but that's just me.